I did my public relations presentation on Pepsi and Coca-Cola. Pepsi was founded in 1965. This is the website currently that is up for Pepsi and all of their products. Pepsi has a very bold website and it is noticed from the get-go. There is also an option to see basically what is new with their company and they have a big buy Pepsi products button that's in the top right hand corner for people to select. As you go through their website, it shows different people with their products. When you go to the bottom of their website, it gives you all of their well-known drink products as well. Here I have three different social media markets that have the same exact posts from the company Pepsi. The first one is from Twitter, the second one is from Facebook, and the third one is from Instagram. The social media re reviews on all of them. Facebook had 37,532 196, and it had 1.2 thousand reacted to the post. Twitter had 39.6 thousand followers and 4,911 likes on the individual posts. Instagram had 1.6 million followers and 7,962 likes on the post. Through the data, it showed that Pepsi had the most followers through the social media app Instagram. However, it was found that there was more people to react with the post on Facebook, having 1.2 million reactions. The comments on the post through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram were all found to be positive ones. Here is an article about Pepsi from the New York Times. It was published on August 20th of 2018 by Michael J. Della Merced. The headline is PepsiCo to buy SodaStream for $3.2 billion in push for healthier options. It basically tells you what it's about, the fact that Pepsi is trying to buy SodaStream, and SodaStream is the popular maker of home carbonation machines. Pepsi announced that they were going to purchase this corporation at the cost of $3.2 billion. The reason was their main goal was to have Pepsi products be more healthier and have different healthier options available. For SWAT, I found the strengths to be Pepsi has been an up-and-coming company since 1965. The weaknesses are always falling under the spectrum of choices compared to Coca-Cola. The different opportunities were Pepsi owns many well-known companies such as Lay's, Doritos, and Mountain Dew, along with the threats of Coca-Cola, Nestle, Red Bull, and Monster, which are their competitor companies. Now on to Coca-Cola. Here is the mainstream and current website for Coca-Cola. The website opens up with an image of people having a good time drinking the product of Coca-Cola. The whole website has a red accent to it, as it should, and there is a menu button, but is it, it is in the top left corner and not as broad as the one on Pepsi's website. The main page to the website itself is not very big at all, and as you scroll to the bottom of the page, it shows lists of all the different countries in which their products are bought and sold. Here is a social media post that was posted on April 6 by Coca-Cola on three different websites. The first was Twitter, second, Facebook, and third, Instagram. On Facebook, there was 106,706,763 likes and 1.3 thousand reacted to the post. Then you will see that Twitter had 60.9 thousand followers and 428 likes on the post. Instagram had 2.7 million followers as well as 10,182 likes on the individual post. Through each social media account of Coca-Cola, Instagram came out on top again, having 2.7 million followers. However, Facebook took the lead with the most likes and inter interactions on the post. It had the highest with 1.3 thousand reactions to it. Again, with the same post from Coca-Cola, all of the comments from the networks were positive ones. Coke, Ad, Riles, Hungary, Conservatives, part of larger gay rights battle. On August 9th of 2019, Mark Santora created the headline of Coke Ad Riles Hungry Conservatives, which is part of a larger gay rights battle. It is exactly how it sounds, and people were upset that the brand Coke was supporting LGBTQ community using a photo of two gay men. Coke decided to stay strong and stick with their support of the LGBTQ community, and this is a very noble and honorable thing to do.
For SWAT, I found that the strengths were a thriving organization since 1892 with a net worth of $230 billion. The weaknesses were the LGBTQ incident, which caused a lot of negativity toward the company, and them not having enough new material. The opportunities were appearances on national television, such as American Idol using the Coca-Cola brand, and their new coffee drink that they just came out with. The threats are the constant competition with Pepsi products and competition with other soda pop competitors.